Hello everybody, it is Ed Sweeney here and today we will be playing some Hot Rock. Hot Rock is an interesting game which you've got to keep the rock on you. It's a very interesting entry. You've got to keep the rock on you and stop the other players from taking it anywhere. I'll be back when it starts. Okay guys, the game is about to begin. Hope you enjoy it and let's begin. Okay, who's got the hot rock? And okay, he's got the hot rock. The red, the blue guy's got the hot hot rock. Anyway, we've got to chase after him because that's the purpose of the game. Get the hot rock because it's gonna burn you alive if you fall into the fire, which would be highly inconvenient to a person. Because well, we all know, many people dislike falling into fire. Like this guy, for example. I'm sure he would not like falling into fire. I have the hot rock. I am hot. I am very hot right now. And I'm looking for people who are my same team. My same team. People who are on the red team. Defend me, servant. Stand, I died. See, that's what people want to avoid normally. Dying. It's a common fact, you know. People generally don't like to die. So, let's chase this guy down. Oh, yeah. Lightning will strike where the person who holds the hot rock is. So, even if you're holding it, people can often know your location. You are never safe. As you can see, people respawn. And, as you can see, the lightning struck directly where he was. When they get the hot rock, they actually lose their swords. So they can't fight off. That's why you, all the people with the hot rock run away. Because they're going to probably die. Because they don't have a weapon on them. One thing that's also bad is falling into a pit. Like that guy. That was highly inconvenient for that guy. He fell into a pit. The other guy also fell into the pit. People are not good at not falling into pits, are they? But as you can see, we are currently losing. Blue team has got half of their points. This guy's a VIP. But of course, you're, you're probably lost his stuff already. As you can see, the lightning strikes there, which means that is where the person with the hot rock is. Or at least he was there. Yes, as you can see, he seems to be on the move. I don't know why he's trying to fight me. I mean, he's got no sword. What are you going to do? Usually, that when you have a diamond, you usually try to make them into a diamond sword. You don't usually hit the person with the diamonds. Note, you, when you get diamonds, you usually make stuff with the diamonds. You don't hit people directly with the diamonds. Apparently, someone's using speed hacks. Which is unfortunate for us, because speed... Because hacks are not good. Anyway, it looks like this guy's got the entire red team on him. And despite that, he's managed to keep up. And suddenly, I think I know the person with the speed hacks. It's the guy with the hot rock. Oh, I fell into lava. I'll tell you, this guy is very agile. How many red guys has he managed to avoid so far? The hot rock! I have it! I have a glorious hot rock! People, defend me! As you can see, we got the hot rock just in time. Because they had 90... Let's see. Unfortunately, a blue blue guy has it, and we've lost. <sighs> Sadly, the opposing team won. But I hope that's an accurate summary of Hot Rock. You might want to play it yourself if you haven't. Or you have played it yourself. I hope you have more good experiences. That's me from Ed Sweeney, and I hope to see you later.